Smoked Up Man Terry, world famous decoy carver. Oh, we're here with, as he said, we're here with Bro Terry. He will be carving a bird and showing you how he does it. So I'm going to kick it off. Who helped you start making decoys? I, I learned when I was 15 years old. I started under the uh, direction of Mr. Cigar Daisy and a guy named Bobby Elfin and Doug Jester Jr. Doug Jester was a uh, you know, senior. Was one of the most famous carvers that uh, Shinkatee Shink ever produced. And uh, he lived next door to me and took me under his wing. And, uh, pretty much 53 years later, the rest is history. And I've been chopping them out with a hatchet the way the, way the old timers do it. I use cottonwood mainly. And this is the way the old timers removed the wood. And this is the way Doug taught me. Oh, wow. Um, so I believe you, I believe you started making minis when he taught you? Started doing miniatures. Well, I don't know how you got that bit of information. Last time we were here. Also some okay. other interviews. But this one just flew in the shop. Just flew in the shop from, uh, I think it says 67 or 68. And that is what I started off with. Oh, I was 15 years old. I came home from school and I was selling these for... For two dollars and twenty-five cents a piece, and the guy that owned the restaurant, where well, I sold him in the, in the gift in the gift shop, I gave him a quarter on every bird, and I kept the two dollars. Wow! And I made hundreds and hundreds of those when I was in high school. And that just the guy just brought that in the other day, and he said, "You want you want this bird back? I found it in some shop. So I bought it back from him." Two dollars. <laughs> um, I have to get a little bit more than that. <laughs> <laughs> so, a rough number. How many decoys do you think you've made over your time? You know, but I've got. Uh, I started keeping track uh, to see how many I could make in a year when I I came out of the Navy in '75. I went to work for the government tracking weather satellites at NOAA for about four and a half, five years. And then I quit and uh, wanted to come out here and car for a living, so I had to show the wife I could make money doing this. <laughs> so I wrote every bird down that I did for the next nine and a half years. Oh, wow. And uh, I made 5,751 pieces oh, wow, that's crazy. in nine years. And then I just kept keeping track, keeping track. And it turned out I've got about 13,000 birds written down now. I'm guessing probably 18,000, 20,000 all together. Between the miniatures and uh, I've been doing 150 to 200 life-size ducks a year for a long time. That's wow, awesome. That is crazy. Uh, everything I do now is hollow. Um, cottonwood makes mostly cedar heads. And they're all rigged up for hunting. <clears throat> There's one I'm... I'm painting another one, so I'm using this to go by, but I hollow everything out, put my lead bars on them, my line attachments, and these are working decoys. These have been hunted over by me for the last couple of years. And uh, it's just, uh, it's nice hunting over young birds. I can imagine. Can I remember that one? Because I was wondering what those look like. And then all of those behind you are all my working decoys. Can you take them? Over there by the, on the bar wall. It's, Try to keep six of every species there is on the East Coast. Uh, while they're looking at that, any other information you would like to share? About Try to get more people involved in this, young people especially. Get them off the damn cell phones and the games and <clears throat> put a knife in their hand and a block of wood and let them become artists. Yeah. And die in trade. Die in art. Very cool.